What if I told you you could make your passions your paycheck? Here's how. Hi, I'm Gabby Bernstein. I'm a motivational speaker and a self-help book author. And I'm here to be your digital coach. I'm here to give you guidance on relationships, career, or really anything that you want to ask me. Today I am a motivational speaker, a self-help book author, a video goddess. <laughs> and I, I love what I do. I absolutely am so moved to my core by what it is that I do. And there was a period in my life in my early 20s when I was running a PR business doing quite the opposite of what it is that I do today. I was representing nightclubs as a publicist here in New York City. And I felt like something was massively missing. I felt like this other stuff, this other area of my life that I was so passionate about, public speaking, self-help, personal growth, I was denying. And so I felt like I needed to learn and take the necessary steps to make that passion my life mission and my career. So if you're ready to make your passions your paycheck, here are my three steps. The first step is to identify your effortless actions. What are the things that you do by choice? Maybe you love being of service and on the weekends you're going and you're working in a soup kitchen. Or maybe you love throwing parties and you're just awesome at throwing parties. You are the girl that throws the best parties in town and this is your favorite thing on the planet to do. Maybe you love designing and styling your best friends and you're just so into fashion that you just are mind blowing at your styling skills. And if you are, I would love for you to call me. And so whatever it is that you do by choice, those effortless actions, those effortless actions, if you practice them enough, can often become your career. This was the case for me. Okay, the next step might bug you out a little bit, but bear with me. This step is crucial. Be willing to do what you love for free for a period of time. And I wanna emphasize this last part of the sentence, for a period of time because you don't want to get stuck in the I do it for free forever because that's not going to fly that's not a career you want to be paid for your good work but there is a period of time where it's crucial to really just give and be of service and get your chops and get good at what you do when I was running my PR business I was speaking publicly at the learning annex and at women's organizations and at other empowering women's retreats and entrepreneurial ventures and I would show up and I would tell my story and I would talk about how I was running a business at 21 and I would talk about what I was doing to transform my life and I did this for five years for free. And it didn't actually feel like I was doing anything for free because I got so much joy out of it. I was creating such benefit in my life because it was so fun for me. But the experience of those five years of public speaking for free prepared me for the time when I was ready to start to charge for my trade. I had gotten all the kinks out. I had really felt confident in this new skill. And I felt like I really, I earned my way. I really paved my path. And five years later, I started to sell tickets to my live events. And then when people would ask me to speak, I'd say, my fee is this. And it was very natural for me to begin to ask for money because I'd put my time in and I really nurtured my craft and my art. And, and today, it is my primary profession. The time where you are working for free is crucial because it gives you an opportunity to hone your craft. So if you're a private chef and you're cooking meals for family members, you're cooking for your friends, you can perfect your meals. Or if you're a writer and you're blogging for free for five years, that's amazing because you're getting your name out there and you're circulating in the search engine and you're just becoming this awesome person out in the ether that people will start to pick up your writing. And so don't be afraid to work for free, but I'm gonna overly emphasize this for a period of time. The last step. Energy flows where your intention goes. And this is a beautiful step because wherever we focus our energy, we send fuel to, we send fire, we send inspiration and excitement. And we cultivate this new birthing, really. We bring something into the world. And so whatever you're focusing on, you're creating. So if you're out there doing your work for free for a while, you're focusing on it. 
If you're staying up late nights and weekends, practicing your craft and your work, you're focusing on it. So find that time in your life where you can bring energy to that work that you are so inspired by and so passionate about. And in a short period of time, that passion will soon become your paycheck. So infusing that passion with your energy will bring forth all that you need to make it your career. So let's do a little wrap up here. This is how you can make your passions your paycheck. Focus on your effortless actions and identify what it is that you love. And that is where you wanna focus. That's where you wanna bring your energy. Remember that energy flows where your intention goes. And so bring that energy, that attention, that focus to those effortless actions. Be willing to do them for free for a period of time and, and expect many miracles to occur in your career. Expect lots of shifts and, and trust and know that if you're having a great time doing it, you will be guided to make it your career path. So let's get real for a second. I, I know that it can be scary to contemplate making a career shift, particularly if you're far along on one path or you feel like, how could I possibly do this? There's a million other people doing it. I really wanna come back to basics and emphasize that if there's something in your life that brings you joy, then it is your responsibility to bring more energy to it and to give yourself a chance to try to create it as a powerful, passionate profession. Because when you're in a place of joy, you're bringing so much more to the world. And, and that's really your primary career, is to, is to be a happy person and bring love to the world. So, so focus on that energy, focus on that inspiration, and trust that when you're in that place of inspiration, you're doing what is the greatest gift and the greatest service to the world and everyone around you. And in that energy, you're gonna create more of what you want. So I wanna hear from you. Tell me what happens. I wanna hear how you make your passions your paycheck. If you have stumbling blocks along the way, tell me what's up, I'm here. Dear Gabby, hashtag Dear Gabby, come at me at Gabby Bernstein, t Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I will be at Glamour.com. I'm all over the internet. Find me and, and, and just let me know how it's going. Let me know how I can help you because this is a tough one. This one can be a little bit of a struggle. It can be scary. It can be difficult. And I want to help. So come at me, people. Hashtag Dear Gabby. Let me know what's going on.